Hello, hello, and welcome to the Introverted Manager. Today is an excited one for me. For those of you who watched video about my first iOS app, know that I soon will be finishing it and would like to publish it in the App Store. For that, I have to enroll into Apple Developer Program, which has some changes in 2024 specifically for European region, where I'm based right now. And today I'm bringing you with me. Let's dive right in. Okay, here on screen I have Apple Developer Program website. I will have it in the description of the video, but you can easily Google it yourself. Anyways, let's go straight to enrolling into the program. And here you can enroll either as an individual or as an organization. In my case, I will be enrolling as an individual. I'm a solo developer, what can I say? And let's click start your enrollment. For this, you have to sign in with your Apple ID. I will not be using my personal one, just in case to keep it separate. So we'll register for new one. Let's do that. Czech Republic. Birthday, 26, I recently had one, I don't want any spam, even from Apple, sorry Apple. Let's find the, okay, here we go, we can delete this one, we can add this here. And then this next step, I will sh supposed to get SMS, which I did. So let's try. Okay. I'm not sure if you want to read that. I do not. So I solemnly swear and I agree to everything as usual. <laughs> as usual in those cases. Okay. And let's submit. So. And now you have two choices. You can either download Apple Developer app from Mac App Store and continue there, or you can continue on the web. I will just continue here. And let's do this again and as I mentioned I'm registering as an individual there are a few more options which do not apply to me and once again of course you can read through all of that I will not be doing that Let's just continue. Okay, and the least exciting part is actually paying. As you might know already, Apple Developer Program costs $99 per year. Let's put Auto Renew and let's purchase it. I'm not sure why it switched to check. I didn't ask for that. Well, this is surprising. You cannot even pay with Apple Pay for Apple Developer Program. And let's press buy. It took just a few minutes and I'm officially registered. Although I heard from some people that sometimes it requires having call with Apple to verify your information. Not in my case. So we're in, we have access to developer resources now. What we need to do next in Europe, 
is to complete some additional information and make some important choices related to DMA. Okay, and the first new thing in 2024 related to DMA is you have to choose whether you are a trader or not. Honestly, if you open the definition, it's quite vague. Let's see what it says here. Defines a trader as any natural person or any legal person, irrespective of whether privately or publicly owned, who is acting, blah, 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 for purposes related to his or her trade, business, craft or profession. This is legalese really hard to understand but if i get it correctly since i'm the developer who is making an app who would like to distribute an app i am a trader so let's move on next thing to verify address once again and let's move next We need to verify email once again. We did it before. We're doing it again. And once again, verify the phone number. And let's choose English. And we need to upload documentation to confirm our, my, in this case, name. So let me do that. For my address, I will try to use bank statement. Hopefully that will work. As the last step, we need to confirm that we're not from US. So for that, we'll have to go through a few hoops. First, complete US tax questionnaire. You can see it here. And specify that you're not from US. Then you will have to submit two forms. First, once again, under perjury, uh, verify that you are once again not from US, or rather that no one from US will benefit from the payments that you receive from Apple. Otherwise, US really wants to tax that, those payments. Once you are done with that, you need to complete W8 ban form to claim tax treaty benefits. In a nutshell, to avoid getting taxed 30% by US. So absolutely do that. It's a no-brainer. Once you are done with the form, the last step would be to add your bank details. For obvious reasons, I will skip few steps in this process. Refresh the page and you should be all set to sell your application if you want to. In my case, my first one will to his And now that I'm done enrolling into Apple Developer Program, I can actually go to Xcode and add my new developer account. Let's do that. So let's go to Xcode, open settings, navigate to accounts and add 
my new Apple ID, which I use to register for Apple Developer Program. And once again, let's receive verification code. I have it here. Great, all done. What it will allow me to do from now on is either use Xcode Cloud for building the app or distributing the app through the cloud and run unit tests in the cloud or publish the app to the app store or to the test flight, which I plan to do and use for preliminary testing within closer circle of people of mine. And that's all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next one.